and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we're doing a what I eat in a week as that girl or getting ready for hot girl summer, whatever you want to say. This is what I eat in a typical week to stay healthy, lose weight, all that kind of thing. We've done what I eat in a day before on this channel but that doesn't really give you an understanding of what I eat like overall. That's only one day and it can be quite curated. I feel like what I eat in a week is a much better way to show over time what I eat. Even though I do kind of eat the same thing throughout the week and I change it up every week. I want to start doing more of these videos for meal ideas and include recipes in them. This one does not include any recipes. But there will be recipes from this video coming up very soon on this channel so I can also gauge what kind of stuff y'all are interested in, what kind of recipes y'all want. So if I make something in this video that y'all want a recipe for, let me know and I can definitely make a video. Other than that, let's get into the food because that's what y'all are here for, right? Hello, good morning. It is Monday morning, about 9.15. I'm almost done with my lemon water and I have my smoothie last time we were at costco they were out of dark sweet cherries we went this weekend because we were totally out of frozen fruit and they had them so i made my favorite combination banana dark sweet cherries and mango and some dates and a little bit of oat milk this is so good so usually after my lemon water i would have coffee but monday is grocery day so i'm actually gonna meet my friend at whole foods and we're gonna get coffee there and hang out for a little bit we haven't seen each other in quite a while and then do the grocery haul for this week of eating i have to leave in about 15 20 minutes so i think i might try and do like a five minute yoga stretch just to wake up my body stretch a little bit especially because i didn't get a chance to do yoga yesterday we were so busy this weekend and i ate like garbage this weekend so we're getting back on track this week getting ready for hot girl summer so let's go <laughs> You're cute. Cheers. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and I figured I would do a little, not really little because I actually got quite a bit, a grocery haul for you guys. I actually ended up getting quite a lot at the store because we weren't able to go to the farmer's market this week because it was raining all day. So I had to get everything at the grocery store, which a lot of the produce and stuff is the same produce that I can get at the market. It's just sold at Whole Foods, which is cool. So we got some curly kale, eggplant that I'm going to turn into unagi, a bag of lemons because I was out of lemons, and a bag of rainbow carrots because I'm out of carrots. That's one of the things I would usually get at the market. I got some seaweed snacks. I really like to make lunches with these and rice and veggies and you just like put little stuff in and make like a little sushi taco thing. So good. Bananas. A bell pepper. Avocados because we're totally out. Green onions. Brussels sprouts. I had a purple cabbage. Rainbow cherry tomato. Tempeh. I wanted the bacon tempeh but they didn't have it so I just got regular tempeh and I'm going to marinate it so that I can make some wraps with the leftover tortillas from last week. Um, I didn't make my boyfriend coffee this morning, so I grabbed him one of these, the uh, salted caramel flavor. And then for lunch, I usually grab just something to eat for lunch while I'm at the store. So I got us the smoky TLTA sandwiches. So it's the tempeh bacon BLT with avocado. I get this soap that's package free at Whole Foods as well. It's made out of, it's got oats in it, so it's really hydrating and it's really nice. Some spring mix, red pepper hummus, and some medium salsa. I've been wanting to try this little yogurt, and I think I'm gonna make like a little yogurt bowl or something, or put it in my smoothie bowl, something like that, because I've been really wanting to try this yogurt. It's super simple, it's literally three ingredients, coconut water, agar, and probiotic. So it is super simple, can't wait to try it, and it comes in like the cutest little glass jar. I got some cantaloupe to snack on, because it's just about coming into melon season. Some teriyaki tofu. This is just my conditioner. I needed more black beans and more white beans. And then I also got this super grains mix 
white and red quinoa, millet, and buckwheat for Buddha bowls. And last bag, oranges or clementines. Both of these bags just have broccoli in them, a cucumber, oat milk. They were out of the full fat, so I just got the regular. A couple of green juices, because we're trying to be that girl. And a kombucha, because we usually get kombucha at the farmer's market. We refill our jug, and we haven't been to the farmer's market in a few weeks, and we keep forgetting to bring it when we do go, so we haven't been able to get kombucha, and I've been wanting one. So that is everything that I got at Whole Foods. Now I'm going to put all of this away, and then we're going to have lunch real quick, because I'm going to go to... Costco with my friend later because Costco has the giant squishmallows again and they have Hello Kitty ones so we're gonna go get squishmallows. <laughs> For lunch I'm just having this uh, TLTA from Whole Foods, a green lemonade, green juice also from Whole Foods. Let's see, look at that, it looks so good. I was today years old when I found out these were vegan. And we got a bunch of squishmallows at Costco. Ah, these are so soft. I've never had these. Like, not even when I was a kid, I always had Welchers. These are definitely better. You wanna try it? Oh, this one's kinda sour because it's raspberry lime. I don't like this. I wish it was sweeter, yeah. Oh no. Eh. You want me to go back and get you to no, drink? No, no. It's okay. totally fine. I don't mind. I'll drink it. It's all right. So, this is dinner. It's like a little pasta bootable thing. I had some zucchini that I needed to use up because it was about to go bad. And then I threw in some other vegetables, roasted them with some seasonings. I marinated some tempeh earlier for tempeh bacon. I talked to y'all about that because we were out of tempeh bacon. Roasted that in the oven with the veggies. And then we had some lettuce that we needed to use up. So I just put that on the bottom. There's broccoli and bell peppers and cherry tomatoes all roasted. And then I used avocado, lemon, a little bit of water, veggie bouillon, better than bouillon, um, like in the jar, and a little bit of nooch and hemp seeds on top. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, and the pasta is also like a lentil pea rice pasta, so it's gluten free. Let's try it. I've been really wanting to do like a pasta dish, use up these noodles that we've had for a while, and this is perfect. This is so fresh and delicious and like light, but also filling. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this and I'll talk to y'all again if I eat anything else later tonight. I just got back from the gym. It's about 8.40 and I'm starving. So let's make some breakfast.
Okay, for breakfast today, I decided to make oatmeal and I have my lemon water and then I'll probably make some coffee when I'm done with this. I might shower first and then make coffee, but I'm gonna enjoy this because I am starving and and I will see you for the next meal. This is lunch. I'm so excited to eat it. It's a wrap with some homemade tzatziki sauce with some vegan yogurt made out of coconut milk. The yogurt is actually really tangy and good. And there are people working in my house. That's why I'm not talking very loud. And then some cantaloupe. I know there's a lot on this tortilla, so it's going to be kind of hard to eat, but it's still going to be delicious. Hi, what are we doing? What I eat in a week. All right, this is what we're doing. Okay, so I don't really normally eat dinners like this. Uh, I feel like this is very American family dinner, but, um, and at the same time not, because it's Korean. This is herbivorous butcher Korean ribs. We wanted to try them, so I just served it with some Brussels sprouts that were air fried and some brown rice, and I made a gochujang sauce to toss on the Brussels sprouts, and I just poured that over the rice as well. So I'm excited to try the ribs. I know you are as well, so let's try them and see. Mmm, that's so good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's made out of seitan, and I like seitan, but not usually in these like giant chunks, so I might just cut it into small pieces and eat it like with my rice. So I didn't have any more yogurt for tzatziki, but I had some leftover sour cream from last night. Not from last night. I had some leftover sour cream from last week and some salsa, so there's sour cream and salsa on here with marinated tempeh and a whole bunch of veggies. <laughs> and the rest of the cantaloupe that we didn't finish at lunch yesterday. For dinner, I made these little unagi bowls. So this is eggplant baked in unagi sauce, and then there's rice. And at the very bottom of the bowl, there is some kale, and then some fresh cucumbers. Oh, and I'm gonna serve it with one of these little seaweed packs so that we can use it to uh, make little sushi rolls if we want or just eat the seaweed crushed up on top or something like that oh and i think i'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on here that's what this needs
And the rice, I did flavor like sushi rice. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm so ready to have dinner. Excuse my appearance. I, my abs are so sore. We got back from the gym today and we did abs at the gym today, but I was like, ooh, I'm, I need a little break from work. So I picked up that weighted hula hoop over there. And I was like, oh, I'll just do like three minutes on each side. That's not very much, right? Like two hours later, my abs are on fire. They hurt so much. I just want to curl up into a little ball on the couch, and I think that's what I'm going to do with my food and relax. Ooh, I am tired. I just got back from the gym. I did the elliptical today just for some cardio. Usually we'd go hiking on Thursdays, but it's been super rainy all week, so it's pretty muddy. So we went to the gym, and now I'm gonna make breakfast because I am so hungry. So I don't know if any of y'all have seen the baked oats that are super viral, but there is a version that is cinnamon rolls. And I made those a couple weeks ago, and they were good, but they have oil in them. So I'm gonna try and make them oil free today. Instead of the oil, I'm gonna be adding coconut cream and we're gonna see how this turns out. If it turns out well, I will be uploading a recipe for these healthy cinnamon rolls, healthier than regular cinnamon rolls made out of oat flour, so they're gluten free and delicious. And you can have them anytime guilt free. So far so good. Turned into a dough ball. We're gonna roll it out now. This is what they look like before they go in the oven. These were actually a lot easier to roll. I did have to add more oat flour before I rolled them out, but I think this recipe was a lot easier to use than the original recipe that I tried. So let's pop these in the oven and uh, hope for the best. Now I'm gonna try and get these dishes done from last night while I wait for that. I'm also gonna have this green juice with my breakfast just to get a little bit more fruit and veg since cinnamon rolls are basically just oats and banana. It's a green lemonade, apples, cucumber, spinach, kale, and lemons. So this is the same one I had earlier this week. I just put the rest of the banana on top because it only used half a banana in the recipe and reading my book back there. It is really good with the coconut cream instead of oil. I think this recipe worked out well. Lunchy munchies is a very large veggie sandwich with the rest of the marinated tempeh, hummus, and a little bit of sour cream on the bread. Yes, I put sour cream on it because I'm still trying to use up that sour cream that we have. So, this bowl of oranges, lunch. We are having essentially the same bowl as yesterday. I just put it in a different dish, but with broccoli instead of kale this time. And there's some just egg in there because we had a bottle that was a couple days bad and I needed to use it. So time to enjoy this. Okay, I just got out of the shower. We did a Caroline Gervin group. I don't know how to say her last name. Workout this morning, a 30 minute hit. So I've been doing her 20 minute hits on Fridays and I've been making it through. So I was like, all right, let's try a 30. I was literally dying in the first 10 minutes. We did this one. I am exhausted and I'm not really hungry. So I came home, had my lemon water, and then I'm gonna drink the rest of the green juice that I didn't finish yesterday. And that's all I'm having this morning because I'm not really hungry. Sushi time. I made sushi for lunch with the leftover eggplant unagi and there's cucumber and avocado in there. There's two different rolls on this plate. I feel like this roll turned out better than the big roll. That's why there's one piece that's like kind of falling apart. My bad, but you know, still looks good. And I made my boyfriend's plate a little bit different. Like I put the sriracha on top, got all the spots instead of just like drizzling it. And I think that way is better because it gets like evenly on every piece instead of this way where like some has a lot and some has none, but you know, it's all right. It's time to enjoy some sushi. 
I didn't serve it with any soy sauce because there is unagi sauce drizzled over it, so that should be plenty of like salty umami flavor. Now I'm going to enjoy this and watch Demon Slayer. It is 4.16, so my partner and I are going to split this kombucha. I'm just going to pour it in these glasses for us. Cranberry flavor. I hope he likes it. I got this one because it was the flavor that I thought would be good. Uh, and Buddha Brew is usually the people we get kombucha from at the farmer's market. We have like a big growler that we bring and we refill. But for the last like month, we keep forgetting to bring it in with us. In the last two weeks, we didn't go to the market. So I bought a little booch because we both really wanted one. And I think I'm gonna use one of these glass straws that I just got. My bamboo wooden straws, they're starting to crack in places. I don't have that many left. I buy these from the crafters at the Texas Renaissance Festival and that is not until the fall, so I won't be able to buy any more. Until then, so I bought some glass straws online. I mean, partly because I think they're aesthetic but I really did need more straws. So I ordered a whole bunch and now I will not have to keep washing and using the same straw every single day. I mean, obviously I'm gonna wash them every day. You know what I mean. I'm gonna wash a couple of these new straws so that we can use them. And I got some that are like tilted like this. I think that's gonna be really cool. Another reason I got glass straws is I think that they will be easier to clean since you can see inside of them. Sometimes it's hard to make sure that the bamboo ones are totally clean. Especially if I drink like a smoothie or something in them. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna bring him his and then I'm gonna come back and get my water. That way I can have my water and my kombucha at my desk. And get back to editing because this video that I'm editing right now is 30 minutes long. It's the camp out vlog from last week. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It was so much fun and I'm like almost crying while I'm editing because it's, because I miss them all even though I still hang out with them online like being in person. It just hits different. Ugh, I did it. I knew it would happen at least once in this video. I forgot to film dinner. But I will show you the aftermath. Just a couple of bao buns left and a few little fries left. We decided to order in because I'm still working and it is 9 p.m. I am almost done. So we decided to order Bowed Up. We hadn't tried their new buns. They used to have like these tofu veggie buns that were really, really good and they changed their recipe so now they have like broccoli, sweet potato, edamame buns. They're not as good, but I really like Bao. I miss the old ones. I love the the bread, ugh, it's so good. And their Szechuan fries are so good. And their sriracha mayo is vegan. So like, might still order there for like a snack if I want just like some french fries or their plain whole wheat bun again. But I don't know if we're gonna order their veggie bun again because it just, it was not as good. Like it's okay, it's edible, but it's not nearly as good as veggie and tofu. Why are you putting sweet potato in there? Give me veggie and tofu. For breakfast today, I'm trying another new recipe. This is a coffee cake baked oat. It looks so good. I can't wait to dig into it. It only has half a banana in it, so I'm going to cut the other half of this banana, put it on top, and we're going to try it. But it's got this uh, crumble top. I feel like it's meant to be baked in a smaller dish because the crumble top wasn't enough to go across the whole top. That's why it's just kind of sprinkle whatever I can so I might need to make more crumble topping if I'm going to use this size dish but it looks so so good I can't wait to try it okay let's try it oh my goodness mm. oh looks like I could have baked it a little bit longer but it does look done Baked oats, man. Eating cake for breakfast. I know coffee cake is a breakfast cake. So a lot of people eat coffee cake for breakfast, but it's not a healthy breakfast. But this coffee cake, this one is. Mm, I'm gonna go enjoy my 
cake for breakfast on a Saturday morning with my coffee. Snacky time. Since I didn't eat my baked oats until about 11, 11.30, I wasn't hungry for lunch, but it's about 3.30 now. So getting a little hungry. So I grabbed a snack of just some chips and I had a couple carrots and hummus. I didn't show that because there was barely any hummus left. So I just used a couple carrots to like scrape the hummus container. But hopefully this will tide me over to dinner. If not, I'll show you another snack, but I'll probably start making dinner at like five. It is Saturday night and I'm getting ready to do a Twitch stream. But before that, we're gonna have a dinner. So I made Buddha bowls tonight for dinner with some spring mix, some super greens, sorry, some super grains. This is white quinoa, red quinoa, buckwheat, and millet. Just cooked in some veggie stock. And then I have some pan fried tofu uh, tossed in the gochujang I made earlier this week, as well as Brussels sprouts, again, tossed in that gochujang some cucumbers and cabbage and radishes on top. And then I also put a little bit of my favorite dressing on the salad. So this is like an Asian inspired Buddha bowl, sesame seeds on top. I'll show you all the dressing real quick, actually. So this is my favorite dressing for a couple of reasons. It's oil-free sesame ginger. It tastes really good. It's already made at Whole Foods. I can just buy the thing already made so I don't have to make it myself. A lot of dressings that I make myself, I really like as well, but I just love that I don't have to make that one. It's already made and it's oil free and it's so good. So I'm gonna dig into this Buddha bowl. Mm. So it's like 9.30, we are in the middle of gaming and I wanted a little sweet snack. So this is a bowl of dates, chocolate granola butter and cacao nibs. I used to make them like stuffed dates, so they were little bites, but the granola butter is too thin to do that, so I just put it all in a bowl and eat it with a spoon. These are some really juicy big dates. These are really good dates uh, this time. And I get my granola butter from the farmer's market, so this is the chocolate granola butter. It's so good. It's got real dark chocolate in it, and it's made with a bunch of seeds and nuts and uh, sweetened with dates. So there's a lot of dates in this late night snack, but that's okay. Dates are a whole food, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and go back to streaming on Twitch and Palace of the Dead. And their Wi-Fi oh, is toast. Toast? Yeah. It doesn't work? Yeah, they have no Wi-Fi? She's been on the phone with them for like three hours. How am I supposed yeah. to get anything good? I don't know. Woo. Okay. Wait, we're going this way. We gotta go Target. Mm-hmm. We still have one more stop. That's it. That's right, we still gotta go to Target. Okay. I just got a little home run with peanut butter because it's the best smoothie as a little snack. What was your favorite meal? I want to know and I want to know if y'all want recipes to anything that I didn't already mention I was gonna have recipes for coming up Don't forget to follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok. Also, I've started uploading YouTube shorts So some of the videos that I make on TikTok some of the recipe videos I'm also uploading to YouTube shorts. So check those out. They're short small little recipes that you can find here and on TikTok. There are other types of videos on TikTok as well, not just recipes. So if you want all of them, you know, make sure you're following me. And I also uploaded my first reels this week. 
So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, go check it out. Go check out Reels. I tried to make an aesthetic that girl video. It didn't work out that well, but we're gonna keep trying because I really like those videos. I really like the aesthetic videos and I wanna make some of those videos for y'all. So, <laughs> all right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.